Hello everyone, I am Precious Ubuizen and in this video we'll talk about multiplication of uh, polynomials. Okay, and first thing to note is that if you have two polynomials where the degree of one is m and the degree of the other is n, then the multiplication is going to give you a product that uh, whose degree will now be m plus n, that's just the sum of the degrees of the two polynomials you just multiplied okay now we have example here and there are two methods we are going to see in uh, multiplication of polynomials the first method is where we would have to open the bracket and allow every term in one of the other bracket to multiply every term in the other and then we sum up and get our final answer and that's the first method we'll use here so we are asked to find p of x multiplied by h of x and what is our p of x our p of x is 4x cubed minus okay so what do we do here we will just let every single term in this first bracket to multiply every term in the second so we'll begin with 4x cubed so 4x cubed will multiply 3x squared and also multiply 4x and the same with all other terms and so if this multiplies this we will have 12x raised to the power 5 and then when this goes to this we will have minus 16s cubed and then we will come over to the second one minus 2x squared times 3x squared will give us minus 6 raised to the power of x raised to the power 4 and then this times this will give us plus 8x squared and then we are done with this over to this uh, we'll have here 3x times 3x squared will give us 9x squared sorry 9s cubed and then 3x times minus 4 will be minus 4x okay sorry not minus 4 minus 12 okay so that will give us minus 12x minus 12 x and then finally minus 1 times this is going to give us um let me bring it down here it's going to give us minus 3x squared and then minus 1 times 4, minus 4 is positive 4 and now if we now try to simplify what we have here that will now be our final answer and in simplifying all we need to do is to collect like terms now x raised to the power 5 is a loan so we'll bring it down x raised to the power 4 is also a loan but x raised to the power 3 there are two of them so we we'll gather them together minus 16 plus 9 is minus 7 x raised to the power 3 and also x raised to the power 2 there are two of them also 8 minus 3 will give us positive 5 x squared and then what about x x is just only one so we'll bring it down and that is uh, sorry that's minus 12 x and finally we'll bring down the constant which is just one and of course this is the solution to this product okay so the second method says that uh, p of x times h of x we can arrange in tabular methods like uh, we normally do in multiplication of numbers so that's going to give us 4x cubed minus minus 1 and then below it we'll now arrange the other polynomial which is h of x now but in this arrangement is going to be like uh, uh, tens is like where you have tens unit hundred and all of that so similar terms will go under the they are like so this 3x squared will come under this so we'll have 3x squared and then minus 4x will come under the constant here okay so we'll now do our multiplication um so now this is going to multiply and that will give us plus 4 times this is minus 12x times this is plus plus 8x raised to power 2 
times this is going to be minus 16 x cube and um, we are done with that so we come over to this uh, then remember like we do in normal numbers when you're multiplying your your answers will come under this column okay so 3x squared times minus 1 give us this 3x squared times this will give us 9x cubed 9x cubed and then 3x squared times uh, minus 2x squared will give us minus 6x to the power of 4 remember this is positive and then this times this will give us um 12 x raised to power 5 and that's what we have here okay so all we now need to do is to add up the solution and um, bring it down here so we're going to do addition here um let me remove this okay so um now that's going to give us so we bring down our four we're going to bring down 4, bring down minus 12x, and this is going to give us positive 5x squared, that's plus. This is going to give us minus 7x cubed, and this is going to give us minus 6x raised to power 4. And here we are going to have 12x raised to power 5, and this is exactly the same answer as what we have here. So each of the methods will definitely give you the same solution. So it is your decision to choose which method you want to use. Right, so quickly we go to the second example we have here. This example says that we have three polynomials, P1 of X, this, P2, and P3, and then they're asking us to find all of this. So we are just going to do one example and I will allow you to do the rest. And this one example would just be B. So we'll take the B and you will do the rest. And for example, C, D, and E, all you need to do is to add P1 and P2 first. And then whatever you have, you multiply by P3. And that will give you your solution. Okay, so this is just like an exercise for you. But I'm just going to do the P, sorry, the B. Okay, so quickly let's go into it. And I'm going to use just one method okay so for b we have that uh, we are looking for p2 p3 that means we want to multiply p2 by p3 and that is uh, x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2 okay so to do this multiplication each of the terms here will multiply so let's quickly do that this is going to give us s cubed times 2s cubed is 2x to the power 6. Okay, let me use this now. And then s cubed times this is going to be minus 3x to the power 5. The next will be 3x to the power 4. The next will be 2x to the power 3. Now over to this one. Now this times this will give us 8x raised to power 5. This times this will give us minus 12x raised to power 4. This times this is plus 12x raised to power 3. And this times this is uh, 8x squared. And then uh, we move over to the next, which is this. So minus 3 times 2x cubed will give us minus 6x raised to power 4. Then minus 3x times this is going to give us plus 9x raised to the power 3. So we'll come over here. Minus 3x times uh, plus 3 will be minus 9x squared. And finally, minus 3x times 2 will give us minus 6x. And then finally, we use the constant and that will give us this. Okay, so summing everything we have here now, that's going to give... Okay, so we're going to now collect like terms. This one is on its own. So we have 2x raised to the power 6. 
now what about x raised to the power 5 how many do we have here we just have 2 so minus 3 plus 8 will give us plus 5 x raised to the power 5 and then we go for um, x raised to the power 4 1 2 3 so there are 3 of them that is 3 plus sorry 3 minus 12 minus 6 and that's going to give us minus 15 x raised to the power 4 and then we go to for the next one that's x raised to the power 3 1 2 3 4 so that is 2 plus 12 14 um 23 and then 25 so we have 25 x raised to the power 3 we go for x raised to the power 2 and that will give us um here x raised to the power 2 we have 1 uh, 2 and 3 and that is 8 plus 8 minus 9 minus 1 then minus 3 so we have minus 4 x raised to the power 2 and fine uh, for finally for the x the ones that have x we have this and then um, this there are just two of them and that's going to give us uh, 9x plus 9x and finally we bring down our constant which is just 2 okay and so this is the solution to the multiplication and if you check from all that we've been doing you you will relate it to the last the first thing we said when we begun when we said that uh, any multiplication of polynomial you do will be the product will give you the the degree of the product will give you the sum of the degrees of the polynomials you multiplied for instance look at here we multiply the degree here is three and the degree here is two and then you can see that the degree of our product is five which is the uh, three plus two and when you go to the last example we did the degree here is three the degree here is also three and then we got uh, a product of degree six All right and that's where we'll end uh, the for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel please take time to do uh, the exercises a c d and e and we'll see you in our next video bye